84 people have died after uh, massive landslides across various hilly areas in one of Kerala's most picturesque districts of Vainad. Hundreds of people are suspected to still be trapped beneath the debris as inclement weather has further hampered relief and rescue operations. The landslide struck at several locations in the Vainad district overnight. Fire Force and DRF Army have all been deployed in the affected area. Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke earlier to Kerala Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan and assured all help from the centre after the landslides. The Prime Minister's office has further announced a compensation of 2 lakh rupees for the families of those killed and 50,000 rupees for those injured. However, the Congress now says that the compensation amount needs to be revised and the Prime Minister should send modern equipment to rescue and speed up the process. Meanwhile, former Congress MP and leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi will visit Vayana today. Congress leaders Priyanka Gandhi and uh, KC Venugopal will accompany uh, Rahul Gandhi. So this, of course, is the latest developments coming in. Police drones and dog squads will be deployed for search and rescue efforts, as has been instructed by the chief minister. Remember, inclement weather has further hampered rescue operations. Let's go right across to NDTV's Pratibha Raman, tracking the details of the story for us. Pratibha, the death toll in this tragedy has now crossed 80. And what you're reporting is that there are at least 70 people uh, who are battling for their lives in uh, the hospital as well. This, as there are hundreds still feared dead. Give us an update of what's happening at Ground Zero. Well, yes, the rescue operation is on, and that is uh, the major focus uh, right now. 130 soldiers who have been led by Captain Sushad of 23 Maratha Regiment and several others in terms of the defense as well as the NDRF team, along with the IAF, who are working in sync to ensure that uh, the stranded uh, members are all brought to a safer location there. Over 70 of them have been hospitalized, is what we hear, and... Um, uh, all of them who have been isolated mainly because of uh, the bridge collapse that took place uh, due to the landslides that uh, took place over a span of four hours at uh, Wayana's uh, hilly region. And uh, these uh, stranded members can be reached only through ropeways. Uh, the construction of a temporary bridge there is uh, still something that uh, is being discussed at this point in time. But uh, with respect to the uh, equipment uh, available, all these stranded passengers are being, uh, stranded people are being moved to a safer location there. And uh, in the meantime, those uh, dead, some of them have been uh, identified and helpline numbers have also been issued, control rooms as well as uh, our rescue camps that have already been uh, set up there. So pretty dismal situation mainly because of the impediments, one. The inclement uh, weather, uh, weather conditions, uh, they are unable to use the helicopters there to airlift uh, the stranded uh, members. These have been uh, some of the uh, challenges uh, encountered by the rescue teams there. In about a short while from now, it will soon be dark in these uh, regions. Until around 5 p.m. is when the visibility will be at its uh, peak. And all these uh, members have been trying their best to ensure that the relief and rescue efforts are on in full swing, at least until then. All right. Uh, Pratibha, you know, a uh, final question to you at the moment. Uh, what is the weather like in Vainad and what is the forecast? Because this is something that is going to be crucial in order for relief and rescue operations to be expedited for more lives potentially to be saved, given the fact that you've been reporting on how hundreds are still fair tracked. Heavy rains have been lashing this uh, region for the last two days. Red alert was issued by the district authorities as well. And uh, even now, I'm, in fact, I'm nearing, I'm just about four, 40 kilometers away from the area where the landslide uh, took place. And it is uh, raining even here, uh, drizzling on and off. Uh, but then uh, the rains have uh, subsided, at least for now. And uh, that is precisely why the NDRF teams have ramped up uh, their rescue efforts. Uh, but yes, flash floods that are on in different pockets of this uh, hilly region, making it extremely difficult uh, in terms of uh, accessing those uh, stranded, stranded there. Several of the villages that have also been uh, washed out, houses that have been damaged, the extent of the damage is yet to be ascertained officially, but then it's pretty dismal uh, atmosphere here as far as uh, the rescue efforts are concerned. Raman, they're reporting about 40 kilometers still away from the uh, tragedy site. We'll keep coming back to you, Pratibha, for more updates.